Hey guys, welcome back to Campbell Workshop. Today I'm going to show you what tools I use for my paper flowers. Before we start, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for our weekly tutorials. If you like what we're doing, you can also join our Not So Secretive community on Patreon, link in description. In my tool compartment, I have these tools, including a round nose and flathead pliers, wire cutter, tweezers, a pair of embroidery scissors, paper clips, and some blue tack. These are the most basic tools I have. You definitely need a pair of wire cutters because the whole flower structure is completely based on wires and they are great for heavy cutting. If you're doing one-off projects, you can use a pair of big scissors. Or even some pliers have a mini cutter at the back. That will be much better to cut the wires and not damaging your scissors. A pair of flat head pliers is great for shaping wires, like a loop on the wire, so the paper are less likely to slip away. They allow you to bend the wires more precisely. You might also ask, why do I need a round nose pliers? It is for a more refined loop bending, commonly used for jewellery making. I use them a lot to make flower centers and pollens. I try my best to use less variety of material as possible, so you don't need to buy more than wires and paper. I would say it is not 100% essential. You can use the flat head pliers to do the same job. My pair of scissors is very popular brand for embroidery. The pointy tip is very helpful to cut precisely and easier to control than the bigger ones, especially cutting tiny petals. Surely, you can also just use the big scissors, but you will need to be aware of overcutting the paper. Paper clips, which I've mentioned before how I used them in the 5 tip tutorial. If you're interested, you can check that video out as well. Next, blue tack. You don't 100% need it, I use it normally for filming, so my flower stands straight. It is reusable when stuck on the table or the flower. No smell and clean. I've seen some green and white ones as well, basically the same thing. You can get it from any stationery shop. Last but not least, my beloved tweezers. Tweezers are basically my another pair of head. My tweezer is a precision tweezers for beauty or even electronics. Once you are familiar with yours, tweezers can hold the material much better than your fingers. Curl the petals, bend it, I think it's much better than fingers. For those who can fit in my box, I also have a pair of big scissors, paint brushes in different sizes, and a hot glue gun. Paint brushes are not only for colouring, but we also use it for curling petals in various situations. Obviously, you can also use pencils or pen that you can find in your house to do the same job. My hot glue gun is basically like any normal ones. It has a stand and a switch. With a switch, I can control the heat easily to prevent overheating. But at the same time, I think the switch tend to break first before my glue gun stop working. But I still love mine. Finally, a pair of normal scissors are great for general cutting. Make sure you clean yours with a rubber from time to time to get rid of any glue, and your scissor will work better. Thank you for watching the video, and I hope you will find this video helpful. If you like it, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel. It will really help our channel to grow. Stay tuned for our weekly tutorials. 
and all of our DIY kits, templates are available on our website. Check them out as well. See you guys next week.